I realized in our, um, you know, all the sins fester together. And when you're outside of a peaceful sanctuary, um, it's more tempting for your body to eat these sugary foods. Um, <laughs> because if, you know, if you're living in a culture that's, that's full of a lot of poor choices and a lot of godlessness and a lot of just lies and bombardment all around you. Um, your senses are heightened, like your alertness is heightened and you're, you're on the defense against all of this um, bombardment and, and stuff and um, it's like your body like just almost wants to turn to those quick and fast high sugar foods in order to maintain that sort of... Anyways, it just seems, it's like when, when you're in a spiritually like safe and like calm environment it's just a lot easier and feels a lot, it's just a lot easier to eat those raw, natural, plain foods. Um, but, but it shows you how, you know, that the, the, the hectic lifestyle, it's like people get, get stressed and then they choose stressful foods and, but, it's like you prepare a calm meal in your sanctuary and you're capable of uh, you know, eating all these plain raw foods in peace with tremendous joy and there's no rush and it, uh, it's pretty disgusting how maddening we have made our culture and the food obviously accompanies it. People, people are so driven and so busy that you know, they're just craving sugar. They're so stressed and they're so, you know, just bombarded. A lot of it's sin. You know, when there's sin in the culture, when there's sin in the environment, when there's secular music in your workplace, just bombarding your ears, lies. I mean, there's all sorts of um, products on the shelves that are overpriced, that aren't actually healthy for you and are just there. They're just bombarding you, like tempting you. Like, and there's just in supermarkets, there's just temptations all around you. And just a bunch of greed, there's a lot of greedy products that just want to take your money and don't offer any nutrition. And um, I just, the more sin there is in the culture and the more unforgiven people there are, um, you just feel, you know, there's heightened awareness obviously everywhere. That's, that's the story of the spiritual war that we're in. But um, I'm just saying it's, man, it's a lot more pleasurable and a lot more natural. Like, your body, just when you're in a, a spiritually like righteous environment and there's there's less bombardment of lies and darkness coming at you, your body's just way more calm. You're just like just eating your natural foods. It's just it's it just you get people stressed out with all this like these lies and bombardment, and it's pretty easy to tempt them with high sugar snacks because the body's actually kind of craving that. It's like in this just hyper like freaked out like fight or flight mode like I feel like I'm being bombarded and attacked by all sorts of lies and like greedy corporations and they just want to like give me something terrible for my body and take my money and you're just like anywho um, it's it's basically the simple truth it's like if we didn't provide the temptations. Like for most of mankind's history, like people had a much easier time eating natural because they just didn't have all these processed products presented to them. And uh, so, you know, and they certainly lived more uh, peaceful lives that weren't so busy and so rushed and um, they weren't stressed out in their bodies because obviously everyone got life-giving exercise for all of their labor all day long and it was all balanced. Um, anyways, basically in short, it's like a healthier lifestyle, a healthier lifestyle and a healthier spiritual environment leads to healthier eating. Like it's just, it's, it flows together. On, on, on the contrary, sin in the environment, stress in the workplace, lies bombarding people, secular music pouring into people's ears, fight or flight inducing crap around people makes them seductive, you know, seducible with sugary foods. Like, 
stuff that's not healthy. I'm just like, just so. There's a lot to clean up. <laughs> there's a lot to clean up, <laughs> like in, in curing people's like bad addictions and stuff like that. Oh man. Mm. I, I would love to see No Music Week, like as a law of the land, like as an experiments, like countrywide, it's like in any secular business, in any mall, it's like you're not allowed to play music, like can we just live in silence for a week and allow people to shop in peace, eat in peace, enjoy each other's company in peace, and actually converse with each other because there's no music playing now. I tell you, the further a country gets from God, the more music there is playing everywhere. And it's even, it's louder, it's more demonic, it's more distracting, it's more brash. That's the truth, folks. The further an entire group of people gets from true personal relationship with God, the more music they will have playing in their ears everywhere at all times because everyone's soul is empty and devoid of peace and the music just keeps playing like you're just like i can't wait i pray for revival to come i'm like i prefer to shop without music for the most part i prefer to go and eat with someone where there's no music Oh boy. All right.